So I understand you take this train every day, is that right? That's right. And, and you were in the second car. Can you walk me through what happened? When did you realize something was going wrong? Yeah, I was in the second car. I was kind of close to where the first car was. Um, you know, we're just pulling in like every other day. And then all of a sudden, you know, I kind of realized we weren't like crawling like we normally do when we enter the, uh, the terminal. Right. So, you know, I didn't really think much of it because, you know, you have faith in the conductor or the, the engineer that they're going to stop. And all of a sudden, it's just this huge, huge bang. And it felt like a, like a car crash. Um, and, you know, you get, you get pushed forward. Were you, um, were, you, were you sitting down? Yeah, I was sitting down. Were you knocked out of your seat, or was it that big of a crash? I wasn't knocked out of my seat. I slid forward, and uh, my knees hit the chair in front of me. But I didn't fly out of my seat. The person in front of, m in front of me fell out of their seat and was underneath the seat in front of them. Wow. Yeah. So it, did it feel instantly like... I mean, something major has happened? Yeah. It yeah, is. immediately. And, like, when something like that happens, it's kind of surreal. You know, you kind of feel like you're in a dream. Like, it's not really happening, but it is happening. So, you know, immediately it's like, am I okay? Is everyone around me okay? And what do we do next? Before it, it actually had the impact, did, you, were, did people around you also realize something wasn't right? No. no there was, there there was, was no murmuring. There no. was no talk of it. No. It just happened. Just happened, yep. A and so what happened then? You, you actually, there's the impact. Yeah, so, you know, everyone's just kind of like looking around and saying, are you okay? You know, I was trying to help people out. People were hysterical. You know, uh, people were crying. Um, I didn't see, initially see anybody with like bloody foreheads or anything like that. But we were kind of waiting for instructions. There were no real instructions. I heard people outside on the platform yelling. But, you know, we were all just kind of like, what do we do now? But eventually the doors opened. So I just exited the train like I normally do every single day. And when I got on the platform outside, there I saw people with like gashes in their forehead and some pretty gruesome stuff. Most of the, the injuries came from the, the front car, obviously. Yeah, I think so. That, yeah, either debris falling from, from the roof because when that, tr that first car hit, the roof caved in. Oh my gosh. So either it was from the debris or from the impact of, you know, slamming their heads on the, the seats in front of them or, or the doors, whatever. Um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty gruesome. And how quickly, I mean, did you stay there? Did you see uh, we emergency were, personnel coming? Yeah, we were, we were um, kind of staying there for a little bit, helping people out, you know, um, just saying, like, are you okay? Uh, there's nothing much that we can do. Um, and then they started to, like, direct us. I guess the personnel that were there started to direct us to the side away from it because that was another concern. Like, is more of the roof going to fall down? Like, we didn't know. And then from there, you know, we just tried to, like, get as far away from it as possible. Well, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you're okay, and uh, and certainly our thoughts are, are with all those people who, uh, you know, who are injured right now and, yeah. and struggling. So thank you so much for talking to us, Steve. Yeah, thank you.